What's up guys, JMK948 here, coming at you with my very first ever video game review. An impromptu video game review. I'm, like I said, this is my very first one, so I'm just gonna read along a bit and talk about, well, my initial thoughts about the game. I'm not exactly that critical of game, so, yeah. So, my history with Call of Duty is I liked playing the first game, the one in 2003, uh, I finished Call of Duty 2, I never got around to playing 3, I played a bit of Ghost and finished World at War, including the Zombies part, and that's it. Now, let's get into the multiplayer part of it, because that's the mode of Call of Duty I haven't played in, like, forever, like, like, four to five to six years ago. So, yeah, and that was just with a group of friends on a couch. This is with a bunch of people across the internet who I have no idea uh, about, so it, hey, it's not like any of them over the mics cussed at me or anything, even though in my first multiplayer match in Black Ops I died like a lot of times and we ended up losing, uh, cause, yeah, coming back into this mode after not playing in a while or playing any FPS outside of a little bit of death me and a lot of Overwatch, it was kind of difficult for me, so yeah, I needed to, I need to polish up a bit, and, cause, yeah, I, like I said, I died a lot in this game, and we ended up losing, I should have just gone through that HQ specialist option first, uh, if you look at your menu, uh, there's that HQ specialist, uh, option, where it's, Kind of a pseudo campaign. For all those who thought that Black Ops will go with a campaign, will come with a traditional campaign, well, they're part right about it. That doesn't mean there is no campaign at all. It's just um, I've only played like one training level and one uh, multiplayer match in it. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but there is a campaign. At least there's a story and characters in it, so that counts. So yeah, I've only played. No, I play multiplayer, and no, oh, and I'm sorry, I forgot to mention this. The multiplayer is split into different modes. So the first mode I played and lost in was uh, control mode. I played other modes, six v six, uh, free for all, and oh, but the one that I was able to win, uh, when I first played it, uh, was heist mode. So that was the first uh, ever. Multiplayer mode in Battlefield I've ever won. And it's the one where, like in Overwatch, where you choose your own skin before the match starts, you. Here in Heist, you get to, pull, to buy your own uh, perks and weapons before the match starts. And here's the thing I didn't like about multiplayer at per, per first glance I did like the fact that you're only given one gun to play in, and then you have to find your secondary weapon from either a dead teammate or a dead enemy. Yeah. But, as I progressed and leveled up, I realized something. Uh, this isn't, this isn't, uh, Overwatch, you don't get uh, all your weapons at once. You have to, uh, win, uh, have to level up and earn your perks and secondary weapons. And, <clears throat> you have to, and there was an option to create your own class, to customize your own class, but, just like the weapons and gears, you have to level up before you can earn any of that. That's really cool. It's suddenly a break from being given everything at face value, like in Overwatch. And sorry, I keep trying to uh, try and compare Call of Duty Black Ops or Overwatch, but you can't deny the mechanics are similar to that. Not only just Overwatch, but a Fortnite. I never played much of PUBG. Also, the fact that Activision and teamed up with Blizzard to make this game. So. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I chose Black Ops 4 over Battlefield 5. Not just because there's less controversy surrounding this game, but because, hey, I've already purchased Overwatch and it came with the Battle.net app, so, uh, might as well just play the other games that were available for free. Uh, play Destiny when it was free, but, yeah, that's about it. Didn't really complete the campaign or anything, I just, it was just a break from Overwatch, a nice break. But then I played Call of Duty PC Beta, the multiplayer map, so it was suddenly more uh, calm and refreshing compared to Fortnite's wild and exaggerated style, which wasn't calm at all. It was just, it was energetic, it was, it had energy. Fortnite had energy. 
uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 4's multiplayer uh, battle royale mode, it was just more uh, calm, certainly calmer than the multiplayer control maps, because seriously, like I said, I die a lot. Uh, and so far I faced no technical difficulties when uh, playing this game. I may have suffered low network connections, but it didn't severely damage uh, my overall playthrough uh, with the game. And the maps, they all look awesome. Uh, the texture starts to drop once you reach the end of the map, which is good. But then when people, when other players get a uh, best play of the game, something similar to Overwatch, I noticed the textures look a little, well, weird on them. They look a little uh, unfinished. I don't know. Maybe it's just because I needed a stronger computer, or maybe I have to change some uh, visual settings. But aside from that, that the game runs smoothly, and uh, by at the time of recording this video, uh, moving around as your character got even smoother. So, and now it's just after an update uh, of a few patches and stuff. So yeah, definitely, definitely technically awesome at face values. And going into the character creator, I was a little disappointed that I wasn't able to do anything other than, hey, he's your race, hey, he's your gender, oh, sorry, he's your gender, he's your race. And the emotes and sprays are okay, uh, just, I think I have to progress uh, to unlock new ones, but in the meantime, I'm finding what I got. Because, uh, like I said, a little disappointed in the character creator. I thought you was able to customize your uniform and gear and stuff. And I don't even get uh, a freaking helmet until I unlock, I guess. So, yeah. I guess uh, more updates will come, patches or whatever. I just wanted a more clever uh, customization of your character. And um, more, uh, uh, more diversity in the painting of your guns. Because I thought I was going to be... I thought I was gonna spray the entire gun, you know, but nope, all I have to do is just add some stickers and decals to the side right in the top of your gun and call it a day. It's fun, but kinda not why nah. And the one technical uh, glitch I suffered was when I tried to add more decals and stickers and shapes to the paint job and the game froze on, on me and crashed it twice. So, yeah, that was just the one hitch I suffered. And going back to PC, I'm sorry, Blackout, <clears throat> it's just as fun as ever. It's not as exciting as the multiplayer options, it's just more calm. With Fortnite, it's more, with the exaggerated style, and as an animation fan myself, uh, it was just more energetic, it just felt more alive. Call of Duty, on the other hand, being more grounded in our in a more in a more realistic setting, it's more soothing. It's not boring at any. It's just more soothing. And from what I heard, it certainly it runs better than PUBG. Like I said, I haven't played PUBG mainly because Fortnite was free. But this is more like Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Battle Royale mode is uh, like an a more realistic Fortnite and a more clean PUBG. So and now let's go to the mode that. I wasn't really a big fan of, even though I played a few rounds of it uh, after completing the World at War campaign like a few months back. It was just a fun little arcade mode, but Black Ops 4 just took this idea and just expanded it into a whole campaign. I know they did this in previous games, but I never thought of using, you know, uh, deities, uh, different deities from different uh, places, Irish, Egyptian, Greek, and Norse mythology. It, it, it's Awesome touch, awesome touch there. And given the setting and the fact that this game was released in October, this game, this mode couldn't have been uh, done at a at a better time. Uh, my one gripe with this mode is, despite the awesome uh, early 20th uh, setting and the even ancient uh, gladiatorial setting, I uh, thought that we would not have to. Use the 21st century guns, cause for me the 21st century, cause the the 21st century guns kind of you know uh, clash with not just the era but the rest of the gears and uh, weapons you use. Like, but at least like here, like I 
I just used a bunch of 20%, uh, unless this is something to do with time travel or something, I don't know. But at least when you're using the steampunk shield or diesel punk, this retro shield, you at least get a retro gun to go with it. So yeah, but yeah, I just wish that the guns would have been more creative than, hey, let's just take some of the guns from 21st century and put it back here. Again, unless this is something to do with time travel, I'm not completely sold on this concept for the guns. Because uh, seriously, steampunk guns, different gameplay from the conventional gameplay from the rest of the modes. But aside from that, uh, the, I've only played the tutorial session and from what I played, it's really fun. Uh, definitely worth coming back to you at a later time when I'm more prepared. And for all those who don't like uh, zombie games, Angry <laughs> Joe, this is a welcome, this should be, I recommend you try this out. Oh, let's talk about my favorite map. Uh, every country I've been in besides home in Kenya with a coast, I've been to other countries, Qatar not included, with a coast, London, Dubai, Malaysia, and I just really, really love the, I just really love the season I associate with summer. I would love to play that m map in the summer next summer. Not that the other maps are bad or anything, it's just that that seaside, that beach uh, map is definitely a standout for me. So there, there are my impromptu thoughts about Call of Duty Black Ops 4. I give it an 8 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. Well, that's all I got for now. And once again, thank you Activision and Blizzard for teaming up to make one of the best games of 2018. JMK out.